Imagine creating your own video games, animated stories, or interactive art. Scratch is a programming language that makes it easy for people to make all kinds of creative projects. With Scratch, you can make things walk, talk, sing, dance, bounce, fly, win, lose, or draw. Scratch is used by all different kinds of people all over the world to make all different kinds of projects. I love drawing stuff. I especially liked drawing this picture because it was really fun. In this project, I with 30 public school districts across the country, including New York, Chicago, and Denver, to provide lessons and teacher training in writing. The largest education events in history. Organizers have set what they called an ambitious goal of reaching 10 million students this week. Almost 15 million signed up. This week, I'm proud to join the students, teachers, businesses, and nonprofit organizations taking new steps to support computer science in America's schools. I ran an hour of code that's easy to do. I got it. They've been so excited about it. It's just working. I did it right. They don't even have to be a computer science engineer. Maybe they want to do when, when I'm asked about what Alice is, the easiest answer that I can give people is that it is a tool to help prepare students for the 21st century, the century we're living in now. It is a tool to develop fundamental understanding of programming principles, of working in the digital technology, digital economy, but also to develop problem-solving techniques so that students are equipped to move on into whatever field of study they eventually study. It was originally designed to create uh, an understanding of fundamental problems because students coming to their first programming class were not very successful. They were having a hard time because they weren't well prepared and that the expectations of the, of the professors was maybe higher than what the students could meet. And so very talented students often would get frustrated and they would leave. But Alice, because it uses 3D graphics and animation, is able to allow students to work with computers as they understand them and in an environment that they're comfortable with. And so they start off just by dragging and dropping code, not typing code, which minimizes the amount of errors that they can make at the beginning. And as they get comfortable, then you can start taking away some of that support structure, and they are still able to be successful. Whoa. Jacefer with Lego Mindstorms EV3 set number 31313 contains 601 pieces recommended building ages are 10 and up well it appears we have Everstorms also looks like we get a wireless remote create uh. 